In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we'd like to show you how you can replace one color in your photograph with a different one. Let's say, for example, you're looking at a picture like this one and you say, I, I like the picture, but I'd like to change his shirt to a different color because it draws too much attention to him in this scene. So I want to focus on his face and not the shirt and my eye goes right to the bright red. How can I change that? Let me show you how to do that. So we're going to click on the guided area where we are in the editing, and we're going to move down to the photo effects major category. Then we're going to click on the third one down, which is simply color. And then the color, one of the five options I have is called color replace. Let's click on that. Now I have three major sections in color replace. I have the color I'm looking for, I have the color I'm going to apply, and I have a brush. And all three of those tools are very significant. Let's show you how to use them. We're going to click on the color. This is a color I want to replace. Now, I have different tones of red here. I'm going to click on a lighter red uh, with the brush. And I could also click on the darker red in the shadow. You notice the RGB val values change. Let's take a lighter one, and I'll show you why. I'm using a lighter one. I'll click here, and it's selected. Here, here's our color. What's our target color? It starts out as the same color. This is a color I want to change it to. Let's change it to something in the yellow-green area right here, and I'll click on OK. You notice it changed it, but it didn't change all of it. There's a couple things we're going to do to modify that. The other problem is, is that it also changed everything else in the photograph. You notice the face of the gentleman and the face of the lady next to him. Uh, the colors are different. Uh, they're not normal. Let's go to the comparison view, left and right. And you see we've, we've not only changed his shirt, we've given some odd look to her, an odd look to his face, and even the background. Human pigment contains lots of colors. It does not contain green and blue, why we have green screen and blue screen. But every other one is affected somehow when you make the change. We only want to change his shirt. So we'll show you how to confine that change only to his shirt in a moment. But what I want to do is I also want to change some of the darker areas. So that's what this number three is for. That's an additional color. I'll click on this. And then I move it over to, you notice it's not picking up my changed color, it's picking up the original color on the left side. And I'll pick a darker area here, and notice, you notice how it covered the darker colors as well. But again, it even made the other areas of the photograph more odd. So let's say what we can do to change that. I'm going to click back to the single view, and I want to make sure the shirt is changed but nothing else. So what I do is go to number four here, which is my brush. This will give me a mask. I click on this, and then I can highlight. I'm going to make it very large. I'm going to decrease the feather to almost nothing here. And you notice as I cover back here, we get in the original colors for her face in particular and his face. So we're not changing the reds there in the human pigment or anywhere else in the picture. Now, the way to make sure you cover all the area, and not just some of it, is to click on this Show Affected Areas box. I'm going to click on that now, and everything here that's white, it's a black and white, will show areas that have been changed color-wise. And all I need to do is take my tool and mask it out so it's not impacted by this color change. And we'll take this area here, and we're going to take his whiskers. And I can zoom in if I want closer detail, and use that same masking tool here. Select my brush, and we can make it pretty thorough as we make sure that the color is changed only where I want to in the picture and nowhere else. And so it's very easy to clean it up using this particular tool. We'll do our zoom and we'll go back to fit. Now I didn't deal with the shoulder. Uh, we'll deal with that later. But I turn this back on now and you see everything in the picture is normal except for his shirt. Now if I decide, you know, that shirt still stands out a little bit, 
I'd like it to be a slightly different color. Well, I can simply change the hue of the replacement and we can give them a little more of a tan shirt. And I can increase the lightness a little bit to lighten the shirt or darken the shirt. And so now we find a little less attention on the gentleman or I can change it to something quite different totally. Anything I like. And I can also change the saturation. Uh, if I want to, I can make it a little less subtle. There now it's more of a canvas color. So if I want it to match like this, let's look at the before and after. It's very hard to tell which photograph was taken before and which photograph was taken after. So these are very useful, very powerful tools. I've drawn the attention away from his shirt onto his face. And I've done that simply by using a color replacement in PhotoDirector 365.